everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you are new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button and remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. Boom! And today guys, jeez, it's Fulham 1, Manchester United 2, 3 points in the bag, Manchester United back on top of the Premier League table, Paul Pogba, Paul LaBibale sending us back on top again, somewhere in Liverpool must be a Graham Sooners drinking his whiskey, when Paul Pogba scored a winning goal, spitting that whiskey outside of his mouth, that plop. Yes, definitely. Paul Pogba has done that to Graham Sooners. I'm so pleased, guys. You are pleased. What a good win. Good win for us. Three points again, again. We can eat it up and just enjoy it. Yes. And just when the going went tough, guys, Manchester United Holics, we was there to see it through the end, you know. Just when it started off, just badly thinking, ah, why? But just to end it with a, ah. Oh, Great feelings, guys. It's, it's, it's a great feeling. And man, now, Alex, let's enjoy this week because we've got the Scousers, the Dirty Scousers next on a Sunday. And I just can't wait. I know you guys just can't wait. Just bring it on, you Dirty Scousers. We'll be seeing you again. This time at Old Trafford, you're going to get it. Obviously, there'll be no Salah because no Salah is straight up living up in Muluk Shaw's pockets. So you won't be seeing him on that very good Sunday. And guys, let's just go straight into that match. Whew. That first couple of minutes, that first 10 minutes, yeah, that's how I felt watching Manchester United. It was disgusting. Going 1 0 down to Fulham with Ademola Lukman scoring that goal in the first 10 minutes pissed me off and it definitely pissed all of you guys off. At that moment there, I've got to say guys, I have to blame Paul Pogba and Eric Bailly for their lack of attention of spotting Ademola Lutman making that run. When I saw that once we conceded, damn I thought, just like all of you guys, this is going to be a shaky start, definitely. And you can just see the players in their face thinking, damn this is going to be a long night. You thought it was going to be a long night? I thought it wasn't going to be a long night. Only gone to social thought it was going to be a long night. And it turned out to be a long night for Fulham. And that time, guys, just, I've got to say, I've got to say, watching them on the ball playing football, it's like, ugh, tuh, what is that? Seriously, guys, it is ugly to watch. It is hard to watch as well. At times, I'm there thinking, this team does not have an attacking coach. They, they, they just pass the ball anyhow. It don't make no sense. It's just Chuckle Brothers movement right there. To me, to you, to me, to you, to you, to you. Definitely just whoa, 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 whoa. That's how our football is you know, when we're trying to play offensive attacking football. Breaking lines and all sorts of stuff, but we're definitely not breaking lines. We're definitely not breaking lines. We definitely can't even do a line right now. Whoa, that terrible with the ball. Definitely can't even snort a line of cocaine. Nah, not straight just to break the line of that coke line. Definitely can't do that. Terrible. And then comes El Matador, my guy, Anderson Convani with Bruno Fernandez penetrating, just striking the ball just a moment earlier on. But with that cross, Bruno Fernandez, Anderson Cavani tapping it in, Fulham goalkeeper, pissed off. Oreo was pissed, feeling like an Oreo right there, all up in the bubble, stuck in that bubble, tasting that mint, feeling the breath of fresh air of that ball just going right beside him after making that mistake. He was definitely pissed off. But Edison Cavani, what striker he is, sniffing out the chances, sniffing out the opportunity for him to just capitalize. And that's one thing Marshall, Marcus Rashford, and Mason Greenwood could learn from. Just being able to sniff opportunities from opportunities like that. Then it's 1-1 going into the second half. Oh, Paul Labile Pogba with that brilliant goal, guys. Hey, I swear to God, when Paul Pogba shot that goal, I was like, ah. I'm not going to lie, Paul Pogba sexed that goal up, sexed that ball up. It was sexually explicit. Parental advisory. Can you imagine? Ugh, I don't understand how Paul Pogba has haters. This guy actually has haters. I'm confused. Seriously, I am confused. It's like, it's not rocket science to hit Paul Pogba, so it's kind of, it don't make no sense. It's like an equation that doesn't have an answer to. Why do Paul Pogba has haters? I, 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 I don't know. But boy, oh boy, he has been magnificent in the last couple of weeks. Excellent strike. Giving us that 2-1 lead, guys. Send us back on top of the table. 
Mwah, magnifique. Mon gars, pour Pogba, je t'aime trop. Cheese. You know, we love you, Paul Pogba. But just some people don't want to admit it. People like Graham Sooners, people with Scouser accents and all that kind of sorts don't like you. People with Mancunio accents don't like you. So, like, I don't get it. Media don't like you, but I do. We all do. Like you said before in your interview, all you care is about the people that like you. Overall, Manchester United Holics, I am pleased. You are pleased. What a good start of the week it is for us. Two points clear right now on top of the Premier League. <sighs> Second week in on top. Let's make it a third week. Let's just enjoy this, guys. Take it one game at a time, you know. Man of the match definitely has to go to Edison Cavani. Work tirelessly, guys. I'm not going to lie. Getting into positions, getting into positions. Just looking fit as a horse, man. He's a stallion, this Edison Cavani. No wonder why they call him El Matador. This guy just be everywhere on the pitch, just eating grass, causing problems, getting in defenders' faces and all sorts of stuff, getting into great position. Again, like I said, Edison Cavani just truly deserve the man of the match. Don't give the match today. I have to give to Mason Greenwood because Mason Greenwood, mm, he just wasn't at it today. He didn't have the best match today. He wasn't that much effective in the game, so I definitely have to give him that man in a match. United Holics, boom, bam, bam, boom, boom, boom. We might win the league, I think. But right now, it's a bit late. I'm probably tired. I'm saying nonsense right now, so don't take what I just said 30 seconds ago, you know, serious. We might win the league it was a mistake, guys. Don't clip that. Anyway, guys, it's been fantastic. I enjoyed today's game. I hope you guys enjoyed today's game. Guys, you let me know who was your man in the match, who was your donkey of the match as well, what you thought of the game as well, and especially the fact that we haven't lost away in the Premier League for a whole year, guys. And also, that was our 17th away win. Record breaking. Ugh, it's just been good, guys. Anyway, guys, it's been a wonderful show. I hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed it, guys. This has been your match reaction with Avor and Spice as always. Keeping it spicy, keeping it good. You get me? Guys, remember to subscribe, smash that like, remember to share as always. Remember to share across all your platform, guys. Show some support to Ivory Spice. And again, remember to follow the socials. Remember to follow the official Instagram account, which is Red United TV one baby. And also remember to follow my personal Instagram, which is Ivorian underscore Spice, same as the Twitter, guys. Remember as always, remember to keep it united, guys. And remember to keep it Red United. I'm out.